Oh, YouTube, even in the bedroom here. You're a guitar junkie with this. And a new pedal. Maybe I'll show it to you. Maybe.
go over to the chorus. Sonic Fuel on. Then I stacked it, my Demon Demon FX Overdrive. Um, after I stacked it with my Demon FX Dirty Drive, then to give you just some more gong pao chicken, some punch, some more snot on top of that, um, I used my Earthquaker Special Cranker. <laughs> which I started off with that, I do believe. So that's been on the whole time. That's it. showed you that I had I bought it brand new like in 1991 or something like that and it doesn't work so I got the um, knob like three quarters of the way all the way turned up I wish I knew that the chords for that Beatles song da -na -na -na. Turn the knob all the way up and I go all the way down like I am here. It just spaces out like uh, something from uh, Mars, UFO or something. And switch it over. Well, I'm going from the green to the red. One is a vibe, the other one is Leslie, chorusy sound. center but if not maybe two bike mike can explain what that's all about disappointing see what i mean 
what's up? Cut me back again. I'm getting all sloppy. So yeah. <laughs> um it came with the box, all the paperwork inside, catalog, warranty card. It still has the sticker on the front pedal, the top pedal, that white sticker. So, yeah, 149 bucks used. I was looking every day and it popped up and I called the store and manager answered and she said, I just posted that today. It's like brand new. We got the box and paperwork. I says, well, I'd like to buy that pedal. She transferred me to a guy so he gets the credit for it. And you know how they always ask you, do you want an extended warranty? Which I never say, I always, I never say yes. This time I was like, I think I do for $149 pedal. I don't want it to crap out like the other one did. I bought that brand new and I don't remember having it that long. Uh, and then it stopped working. So yeah, what is it? How much is it? I get a three year coverage on it, 30 bucks. I think it's worth it. Sound peace of mind. And I don't ever do that. But I did it this time. So yeah, I'll put a picture of my pedal board, revamped, rewired, <laughs> and set up where they're stagnant. The pedals you know, are easy to get to. I don't step on one and click on the other one with my, you know, my Sasquatch big feet. And then I was moving it around and seeing how I could situate it on the pedal. And it really does work best at the end of my other pedals before it goes into the delay from delay into the amp. So I've got the poly tuner, I've got on a chain, the moly, wah, the, um, the um, what is it, Bogner? Vintage phaser shifter. Those three on a chain because the poly tune has a buffer so it pushes out some more juice and then separately um ac adapters on my demon fx andy timmons clone which is the best overdrive pedal in the world my earthquake special cranker uh another great pedal it's got silicon silicon and germanian um switchability i have it on silicon and i have them at like between nine and 10 o'clock, the, um, the tone and the more, the more pedal, the more volume, the more, mm, more knob. Everyone likes more. I worked with a guy from Columbia. He used to say, this is Richie, Richie, this is more better, more better. So I like more better. And then my uh, GoCo Sonic Fuel. Then it goes into my uh, Dunlop Roto Vibe into my TC Electronics triple play flashback delay. Yeah, the uh, more better, more better. It's, you, you know, it's, I just thought of uh, um, when I said more better. So this dude I worked with, he was from Columbia, uh, um, Oscar. Super cool dude, really nice. Knew what he was doing. And we're driving to, uh, you know, Long Island. We're heading to Nassau County to do a job. And I'm behind one of those giant tow trucks that's towing a, a, uh, a Mack truck with the nose facing our way. You know, they've got the back end of it and then the, the front is facing towards us as we're driving like this. So you probably know what I did already. Um, I, I speed up to it. As I'm speeding up and I'm getting close, I yell, Oscar! You know, what kind of crash? Because <laughs> he was like like this. He was sit actually sitting like this and kind of dozing. And he looks up and grabs the handle. And he's trying to grab the handle to open up the door to jump out. Good thing he had his safety belt on. <laughs> I grabbed him by the t-shirt. And I'm pulling him like, no, no, no. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. 
And he's like, <laughs> good thing he didn't jump out. Can you imagine? Again, the seatbelt was on. He, he wouldn't have gone too far. <laughs> it would have been, it would have been bad, no matter what. But <clears throat> so I never did that again. I never did that joke again on somebody. But um, yeah, <laughs> all the time. No, no, this is more better, more better. I like this more better. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think I have it. I cleaned it off. I wiped down all my pedals from dust and, and whatever. I still have some cables that are not holding down. I didn't want to use duct tape like I had before because the duct tape would peel up and then I push it down and I get glue resin stuck on my fingers and I got to go clean them. So I was trying to use the Velcro, leftover Velcro, because, by the way, I bought these giant, fat Velcro strips. Heavy duty, hook and loop. And um, I was like, yeah, I, I peeled off the little strips that I had on the backs of all my pedals. And I put the length of, like, if the pedal was that big, I, I cut it for that size of the pedal. So it was on the full backing. And put it down because you know i i hit into it and move them and stuff and they're not going anywhere now i did the same thing with all of them the only thing that i couldn't really do too much with was the dunlap roto vibe because it's got the little rubber grommets on the bottom and you still need those grommets because you know i tried like just putting the screws flat on one of my many Wawa pedals and it just didn't work out I just wanted it flat and stick to the to the board so what I did was it's got two pieces you know um, and I just stuck one end to the pedal and then I just peeled the glue you know peeled it off with the glue and used that glue part just to stick it to the bit of the uh, the kind of material I have from a toolbox that holds the pedals really good when you have velcro you know, the loop end, not the soft end. So yeah, um, just showing off the pedal board. I don't know what's up with this now all of a sudden. I really hate, I don't want to go to the one in Tampa or the one in Clearwater. One in Tampa because it's so far away. One in Clearwater, you know why. <laughs> but, you know, and I was playing and I, that was, that's been doing it. And I don't know what's, what the deal is. I took the, I removed the back plate and I looked at it and everything looks fine. And it was shielded and it, the back plate was shielded and it shielded inside the cavity. But I don't see anything. I don't know what the deal is, but it's, it's doing that where it's moving around. You hear it? So that's frustrating. We'll see. I have like five more videos in the can. I might post this one ahead of those. Maybe two bike mic or someone, someone on someone else that's uh, um, guitar savvy, uh, technically um, uh, experienced, can explain what that's all about. Because everything looks good. It's not loose. It's it's tight. But I don't know why it's doing that. Really frustrating. So. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Better tomorrow. Yeah.